The Schaefer Targo was first introduced in the mid-1970s, and it ran about 20 years into the mid-1990s. It was offered in a multitude of finishes. The one we're looking at here today is a black lacquer finish. The finials are flat with a brass insert. The bottom finial is smaller than the top finial, and there's a gradual taper that runs the length of the pen. The cap has a metal ring that goes all the way around, followed by a, a clip. The top of the clip has a white dot denoting Schaefer's lifetime warranty, and then a nice little cutout in the middle. The clip is not spring-loaded, but it is very springy and functional. And it connects to the pen body with no deceivable step. The clip pulls off to reveal a very beautiful inlaid nib. These nibs were offered in both stainless steel and 14 karat gold. This one here is a 14 karat gold nib. It reads Schaefer USA 585, denoting the gold content is 58.5% and 14k the section is very comfortable in the hand it's a long tapering section so you can hold it in many different locations the cap does post deeply and securely thanks to that long taper across the length of the pen it does add some weight to it but i find the center of gravity is right around the crook of my hand so it's extremely well balanced As we look at the bottom of the section, we have a gold ring followed by a little step up to the body and then another gold ring. For size comparisons, here we have the Schaefer Targa, a Pilot G2 rollerball pen, and your typical Sharpie. Disassembling the Schaefer Targa. The cap pulls right off. There is a cap liner, however, I have not been able to remove it. Um, I also see a screw, which is behind the cap liner, so there's no real way to access that screw. The section unscrews from the barrel. And then we have a converter, which pulls right out. As mentioned, this is an inlaid nib, so there is no way to remove it from this section. So that's fully disassembled as well. One other thing to note about this converter, I have a couple issues with it. Uh, first of all, it has a gray finish, which makes it very difficult to see the ink level. Second of all, there is no way to disassemble this converter. I've tried twisting this back piece. It does not move. I've tried twisting this front piece and that also does not move. Um, I've tried overextending the piston rod and unfortunately I heard some pops and now it does not function completely properly. So I am in the process of sourcing a new one of these but I wanted to bring this to your attention. If you do overextend the piston rod and it just starts spinning without re-engaging the piston, you can take a little poker apply some force, and as you give the converter a twist, it will re-engage. To reassemble, we'll take that converter, push it into the section, the barrel screws into place, and the cap slides right back and ready to ink up. Okay, inking up the Schaefer Targa. I've selected Waterman Intense Black. You may have seen me use this a few times on this channel. I find that it's a well-lubricated black ink that is very safe to use on vintage pens. Cap pulls off. Barrel unscrews. We'll get this converter to a low position. I'm going to Put this bottle on one of the facets as I am starting to run low. Kind of scares me sometimes that I'm going to make a big spill. All right, we'll submerge the pen into the ink. I'm 
I'm gonna un, uh, ex re extend the piston rod one more time and drop some more ink. This is a trick I usually do with all piston fillers in order to get a good fill. I'll, I'll wipe off the excess ink. Put the barrel back on and the cap. Ready to write. Okay, writing with the Schaefer Targa. And this one has a 14 karat nib. Um, I do not see any markings on the size of this nib, but if I were to guess, I would say it's probably a fine. And our ink, again, is Waterman. Intense black. This nib is very smooth. Um, I, it does have a little bit of bounce and you can squeak out a little bit of line variation. Very wet writer in terms of reverse writing. It's uh, scratchy, very thin. And actually the feed keeps up pretty well though um, but I wouldn't recommend this for reverse writing it's it's really meant just to write like like this and you can see how much ink you can you can push out of that quite a bit of line variation so what do I think of the Schaefer Targa let's listen to that that uh, clipping sound one more time it has a very satisfying feel. Um, I think that this is a fun pen to collect. It's a great writer, a deep poster for those who love to post, a very handsome pen. The fact that it comes in many different colors makes it a fun pen to collect. It's also available in a slim model. The inlaid nib is beautiful. It is a proper gold flexible nib, not overly flexible, but kind of like a vintage flex. Uh, it scares me a little bit that's an inlaid nib because if you are trying to smooth it out or tune it um, and you damage it, you're kind of screwed with the section. But the nice thing is because there are so many available out there, you could easily find one on a secondhand market and replace the section. The biggest gripes I have with this pen, um, the cap seals well, but I find that it will run dry if you don't touch this pen after about three weeks, which is kind of on the short side, but uh, par for the course when it comes to fountain pens. And then as I mentioned before, this converter has a lot to be desired. Um, leaves a lot to be desired, I should say. The, the gray tone to the window makes it very hard to see your ink level. And the fact that you can't disassemble it makes it a very hard converter to maintain, to grease up, to clean. So that's kind of a disappointment. Also, because it is a brass pen and there's no um, seal, you cannot eyedropper this pen. But that just leaves me to say... Thank you for watching.